It's a beautiful set, uh, really annoying and tough set. I got stuck in it for quite some time. Right? Let's look at this. A farmer had a rectangular land containing 205 trees. He distributed that land among his four daughters, A, B, C and D, by dividing the land into 12 plots along three rows and four columns. Three rows, four columns. The plots in rows X, Y and Z contain mango, teak and pine, respectively mango, teak, pine. Each plot had trees in non-zero multiples of three or four and none of the plots had the same number of trees. Lovely. So it's 12, 21, 28 multiples of three or four. Each daughter had an even number of plots. That's very interesting. In the figure, the number mentioned in top left corner of a plot is the number of trees in that plot, while the letter in the bottom right corner is the first letter of the name of the daughter who got that plot. So if you look at this, this X comma 1, there are 12 mango trees there going to C, 21 teak trees going to A. Right? For example, Abha got the plot in row Y and column 1 containing 21 trees. Very clear. Go to the next slide. Some information in the figure got erased, but the following is known. So it's a puzzle, classic puzzle. There are 12 cells. Each cell has two entries, a number and a letter. We are going to be given some information about that. We have to fill in the dots. Abha got 20 trees more than Chitra, but six trees less than Deepthi. So this is linking three of the variables, three of the total number of trees. And that could be very useful. The largest number of trees in the plot was 32, but it was not with ABBA. Not A, but 32 is the maximum. The number of teak trees in column 3 was double of that in column 2, but was half of that in column 4. This is useful because it's going to link three cells with variables. Both ABBA and Bina got a higher number of plots than Deepthi. Everybody gets an even number of plots. ABBA and Bina got a higher number of plots than Deepthi. The minimum anyone should have got is 2. The minimum ABBA and Bina got should have been there for 4. Right? So it's very interesting. That gives away a lot. Only Bina, Chitra and Deepthi got corner plots. Deepthi got two adjoining plots in the same row. Bina was the only one who got a plot in each row and each column. Right? Chitra and Deepthi did not get plots which were adjacent to each other, either in row, column or diagonal. This is also useful. There are going to be a lot of plots. There is no, they don't get in row, column or diagonal, not nearby. Bina was the only one who got a plot in each row and each column. So Bina has got four or six, but four is more likely, will come there. The number of mango trees was double the number of teak trees. Lovely, lovely set of constraints. Obviously, it's going to be very tough thinking of which ones to carve out first, which constraints to carve out first. So I'm going to make some big inferences about some crucial constraints and then build from there. And so here, Abha got 20 more than Chitra, but 6 less than Deepthi. So take it, Chitra gets P, Abha will get P plus 20, and Deepthi will get P plus 26. My preference is to not have a minus. So have the least one as P, so that you can work upwards from there. Right? Likewise, I think this number, one constraint was very interesting, this one. The number of teak trees in column 3 was double that in column 2, but half that in column 4. If you assume a variable for 2, this is twice of that, this is 4 times of that. That could be a very useful constraint. Right? So some constraints leap out and give us something. So I'm going to pick those and start from there. Right? So what are the constraints that we like? Which are the ones that we like to make inferences from? A got 20 more than C, but 6 less than deep 3. So C, Chitra gets P. ABBA will get P plus 20 and deep T, sorry, deep T will get P plus 26. Okay. The number of take trees in column 3 was double that in column 2, but was half of that in column 4. So we assume this is M, this is 2M, this is 4M. That's very useful because it captures three cells with the same variable. Okay. Both Abha and Bina got a higher number of plots than Deepthi. So think about this, Deepthi should have got at least two. So everybody gets at least one plot. So Deepthi should get at least two. Abha and Bina should get at least four. If we add these three, it comes to 10. There are only 12. Or the remaining one, Chitra, should have also got two. So A and B get four each. C and D get two each. Number of plots does not got anything directly to do with number of trees. 
So the total number of plots we've got allotted pretty straightforward. A and B get four each, C and D get two each. B now was the only one who got a plot in each row and each column. We'll come to that. The number of mango trees was double the number of teak trees. I like this because the total number of teak trees we can get in the same variable. M, 2M, 4M, 21. So it is 7M plus 21. So total number of mango trees we can get as well. Let's see if we can put some detail onto this. And so M, 2M, 4M, and then we'll attack this one. And so total number of teak trees is 7M, plus 21. So total number of mango trees is 14m plus 42, twice of this. If you add these two, it's 21m plus 63. This could be a lot because we might be able to guess m straight away. How so? We know that every single plot has a number of trees that is equal to, that is a multiple of 3 or 4. We have an m sitting here. So M has to be 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, one of these. So we could be able to narrow down on M if we get some detail on that. And so that is probably our next step in order to be able to get that detail clearly. And M is 3, 4, 6. We add those two up. Remember we got 14M plus 63. M could be 3. So 14 into 3 plus 63 whatever that is, m could be 4, 14 into 4 plus 63, m could be 6, 14 into 6, sorry, not 14m, 21m, sorry, 21m plus 63, sorry about that, so we have 14m plus 42, 7m plus 21, so it is 21m plus 63, m could be 3, 4, 6, 8, any of those. Straight away, I am sensing that m cannot be large. If you put m as 8, 21 into 8 is 168. You add a 63 to it, it will go greater than 205. If you put M as 6, 21 into 6 is 126 plus 63. This will take us to 189. We'll have only 16 more trees remaining, but these two add up to 37. So that's not possible. And so this, if you, you can't put M as 6, so M has to be 3 or 4. Right? M equal to 4, if you try that, 21 into 4 is 84. 84 plus 63 is 147. From 205, you subtract 147, there's 58 remaining. 9 plus 28 is 37. We could still get 58 from there. So 4 is possible. 6, 8, 9, they're all not possible. So 3 and 4, both are possible. We don't know which one it is, but it is either 3 or 4. We don't have to worry about other numbers. Right? Lovely. So now let's look at some of the other constraints. Now the other constraints open up. Right? Deepthi got two adjoining plots in the same row. And remember, Chitra and Deepthi did not get plots which were adjacent to each other. And so think about it. Chitra is here. For Deepthi, these three are out. Chitra is here. Deepthi, these three are out. And Deepthi gets two adjacent plots in the same row. Where should that be? It's very straightforward. This is Deepthi. This is Deepthi. Deepthi gets only two plots and we can plonk both of those straight away. Lovely. So we can fill that in and then build from there. So these two are deep deep. Now let's come back to that other constraint with Bina. There's a beautiful constraint here which says Bina was the only one who got a plot in each row and each column. So in this column, there's a plot here. Here there should be one. Here there should be one. Here there should be one. There should be one here. What does that tell us? This has to be Bina. In this column, there's again one which has been in it. It can't be this because in which case three will sit here. There'll be nothing here. And so, so this has to be Bina. The fourth one in this row, there's got to be Bina. This is Bina. And so if we fill that in, then we can completely fill practically every cell for as far as the, the, the person is concerned. So this will be B. This will be B, this will be B. D has got two, C has got two, A has to have four. This is A, this is A. So the person name kind of completes itself magnificently, beautifully. Now let's go back to, give me a second. Super, now we can come back to our question on whether M is equal to three or four. 
Now it's plain vanilla, very simple. Put m equal to 3, fill the numbers. Put m equal to 4, fill the numbers. We are good to go. Right? Now A has got completely filled. A has got 21, m, 9, 4m. If you add A's numbers, A adds up to 5m plus 30. If you put m equal to 3, a has 45. If you put m equal to 4, a has 50. This is m equal to 3. This is m equal to 4. Sorry. So m is 3, a has 45. m is 4, a has 50. Now, we know if c gets p, a gets p plus 20. So if a gets 45, c should total 25 or in this case 30. Lovely. If C gets a total of 25, C has already got 12 here. This number will be 13. 13 is not possible because in each cell, the number of trees has to be either a multiple of 3 or a multiple of 4. So wonderfully, this one gets eliminated. So M has to be 4, which fills us a bunch of entries. It will fill us this one, this one, this one straight away. Funnily enough, it will fill us this also. Because we'll now know C has 30. This is 12. We can fill this. So we go back and think about what A is. A, M cannot be 3. So M has to be 4. If you put M as 4, this becomes 4, 8, 16. Next step for us, we know C totals 30. This is 12. So this will be 18. And so now we have A adding up to 50. C adding up to 30. D therefore adding up to 56. We add these three, subtract from 205, we'll get the total for B. Brilliant. So let's do that. This is 6, this is 136. So from 205, we subtract 136. 200 minus 136 is 64. So this will be 69. So B gets a total of 69 trees. Brilliant. So we've got a total for B that is 69. We have an 8 and 28 already sitting here. These two add up to 36. So these two should add up to the remaining 33. Right? So we have this much. Let's build on this. Right? Now we also know this total for teak. And so we filled 18, we filled 4, 8, 16. Teak is 21 plus 4, 25. 33 plus 16, 49. We know mango is twice of teak. So that is 98. 98 plus 49 is 147. From 205, we subtract 147. This will be 58. So this total should be 58, which is very useful because we know three numbers here. 18 plus 9 is 27 plus 28 is 55. So this number should be 3. We've got practically everything going for us. If this is 3, we can find this number because we know B totals up to 69. We've already found that. So B adds up to 69. 3 plus 8 plus 28. 36 plus 3, 39, we've already accounted for. So remaining 30 sits here. Brilliant. So we've got everything going for us except those last two cells. There's a one beautiful constraint sitting here, which is the largest number of trees in a plot was 32. So that is not with A. That has got to be with D. There's no 32 anywhere else. D totals up to 56 or D's 56 should come from 132 and 124 remaining. Now we don't know whether it's 32 and 24 or 24 and 32. There's no detail to fix that part. So this could be 32 or 24. That will be the other one. And so we've got every single cell. We've got it completely filled. We know which cell belongs to which person. We know the number of trees in each one. Each cell, each row, each column is completely filled. The only open-ended thing is that D could be 24 or 32, 32 or 24. It's either 24 and 32 or 32 and 24. Right? Lovely, beautiful set, very tough, too many constraints, lots of variables. You must have a sense of which constraint to knock on first. Right? I love those constraints which grab variables across cells. So the M, 2M, 4M, I really like that. P, P plus 20, P plus 26, I really like that. So it's three, three things caught with the same variable. So work with those. This is double of that. So the total here is also got in terms of M. 
and then you can find this remaining in terms of m because you know the total number of trees is 205 and we can work with that everything that gives you with the same variable multiple cells chase those okay. lovely we've done this completely now we have this whole grid all we've got to do is answer the questions let's go for the how many mango trees were there in total mango we did it 56 plus 12, 68 plus 30, 90, 49, 98. So twice of that. Oops. 98, good to go. We have already done that. This is 49, this is 98, that is the remaining. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Which of the following is a correct sequence of number of trees received by A, B, C, and D? A gets 50, B got 69, C got 30, D got 56. 50, 69, 30, 56, good to go. We know all four numbers. We don't have to guess from answer choices or anything. How many pine trees did Chitra receive? Pine, Chitra, 18. That's straightforward again. Who got the plot with the smallest number of trees and how many trees did that, did that plot have? Smallest number is 3. 3 with Bina, this one. So 3 and Bina. Okay. Which of the following statements is not true? Bina got 32 pine trees. Bina got 3 plus 28, 31 pine trees, not 32. This looks like this is wrong or this is the answer choice we are looking for. Deepthi got 56 mango trees. That is correct. We are looking for something that is not true. Chitra got 12 mango trees. That is given in the question. A got 41 teak trees. 21 plus 4, 25 plus 16, 41. This is also correct. These three are true. That one is not true. I think we've done almost all questions. Yeah, one more still to go. Which column had the highest number of trees? This is interesting. We can add this up. We can add all of this up. But we cannot find the total here. And so it looks like it cannot be determined. This is a catch. And so this is a small number. 12, 21, 3. This is 34, 18. It's likely to be higher. 30 plus 4, 34 plus 18. 52. Right? The key thing here is 28 plus 16 is 44. This is 19 more than this. This is 8 more than this. That difference is maximum going to be minus 8. So any which way this will be higher. This will be 44 plus 24 or 44 plus 32. It's either 68 or 76. In both cases, it will be higher than this, this and this. Or even though we don't know how many exact trees are there, how many trees are there exactly in columns 3 and 4, we can still say that column 4 had the maximum number of trees. We don't know which one is 24, which one is 32, but doesn't matter. If this were 24 and this 32, this would still have a larger number of trees. 68 will still be greater than the other three, other three numbers. So beautiful set, really challenging. We need to uh, get it act right at multiple levels. Things to remember, don't get intimidated by this. It's going to give you six questions as a reward. It got just this one set, right? You're on a decent score already. So it can happen that you get stuck somewhere. So have power through, hang in there. Uh, grab those constraints which give you multiple entries for the same variable. It's likely to be useful. Start with that and then and build through. Fine. Cheers, guys. Gosh.